Central Auckland, morning rush hour. Gunshots, workers fleeing their offices. The offender was armed with a pump action shotgun. He moved through the building site, discharging the firearm as he went. The shooter walked right by this construction worker, carrying a shotgun which looked to be about 40 centimetres long. We then hid behind a pole. It was very scary and very dramatic. It was so close to us. I felt scared. CBD worker Kate Gregan was on her way to the office this morning, just moments before the incident. As soon as I got a little bit closer to where uh, the incident happened, um, the cops just said, do not go any further, don't move. And then probably about a minute later, I heard two big bangs and I thought, surely that's not a gunshot, surely it can't be. And then probably another 30 seconds later, it was just bang, 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 bang. The police eagle helicopter flying through the CBD, terrified people running, armed police in the city. Police just started screaming, they said run, hide behind something solid, get out of the way. Uh, another cop was saying, you know, you don't want to get shot, get away from here now. Uh, and kind of a massive crowd of us just kind of didn't know where to go really, we just started moving across the road trying to get out of uh, the area that we were in. Erin Sokolowski was also in the area at the time, on her way to work. It was about seven or nine gunshots just rang out and I think we were on the other side but because it was empty, the square was empty, they were so loud and no one could see where it was coming from, no one could tell what was going on and we just all scattered essentially. She then hid behind a wall and messaged her best friend about what was happening. Police Commissioner Andrew Costa says after firing several shots, the man barricaded himself in an elevator shaft. The offender fired at police, injuring an officer. Shots were exchanged and the offender was later found deceased. Tragically, police located two members of the public deceased on the lower levels of the building site. Workers from nearby buildings went into lockdown, later escorted out by police with blankets around them. Uh, we were in the PwC building um, this morning and we were told to lock down until uh, this, I believe it was maybe the police or SWAT team came in and um, evacuated us to the ferry terminal. Yeah. It's shaken up but yeah, we're all okay. This has been a shocking and traumatic event for those people who came to work and found themselves in the middle of an armed emergency. Thankfully, many people were able to escape the building, but I know that for those who hid or remained trapped, this was a terrifying experience. Terrifying too for those working at the site where the shooting took place. Forced to hide to escape the shooting, some ran upstairs to the roof of the multi-storey building where they waited for hours to be given the all clear to come back down to the ground. The commissioner says the shooter was wearing an ankle bracelet and had worked at that construction site. I can confirm that the offender is the subject of a sentence of home detention. Uh, however, he had an exemption to work at the site and so there's no indication at this stage of a breach of those conditions. Among the injured is a police officer who was seen walking to an ambulance holding his t-shirt to his bloody face. The Prime Minister, who's also the former Police Minister, was visibly upset about what officers had to confront this morning. I know from my, uh, from my work with them as Minister of Police that when these things happen, the entire Blue Fano feel this. And so um, in any incident like this where police are in harm's way and where any police uh, may have been injured, um, obviously that is a huge concern and that is something that um, I think all New Zealanders will feel. All this was happening on what should have been a day of celebration as the Football World Cup gets underway at Eden Park this evening. Clearly with the FIFA World Cup kicking off this evening there are a lot of eyes on Auckland. The government's spoken to FIFA organisers this morning and the tournament will proceed as planned. I want to reiterate that there is no wider national security threat. The tragic events on the doorstep for some of the tournament teams. 
Norway women's football team are staying here at the M Social Hotel on Key Street, which at the moment is within the police cordon. And at this stage, their match this evening against New Zealand's football ferns is still going ahead, and the team are reportedly safe and well. These US tourists were shocked at what they were confronted with in downtown Auckland. Didn't expect this this morning when we walked down. Something we didn't expect at home, but not here. A shocking morning in the heart of our biggest city.